Cheers, I do buckaroos, and how the heck are you? A little delay there, right? <laughs> Took me a minute to realize I was running, man. Uh, so I got my real Christmas tree there, the plastic Santa there, uh, the festive video playing in the background. That was my first beer of the day, believe it or not, on this Christmas Eve. Uh, we took the kids to church. They got a visit from St. Nicholas. That was pretty awesome. Took them home, came home, got a bite to eat, uh, rested for a little while. Uh, Consider going to bed, but it was only 8 o'clock. <laughs> so, well, I went ahead and did, a, did one whiskey. I'm going to do, do one whiskey video for New Year's Eve, or New Year's Eve, for Christmas Eve, rather. Uh, for my, you know, my Whiskey Whisperer page, and then I thought I'd do one for my Beer Whisperer page. So anyway, I have two of these left. Well, I've got one of them left now. Uh, CBS, uh, Canadian Breakfast Out. Um, it is Canadian because, uh, well, it uses maple syrup. Uh, but then they, you know, agent in bourbon barrels. I think for Canadian, I'd use Canadian whiskey barrels, don't you? I mean, just maple syrup doesn't make it Canadian, does it? I mean, you know, it could be Vermont maple syrup. Anyway, I digress. 11.3% uh, uh, using my festive Christmas glass here. I know it's technically a wine glass, but work with me. Trying to be festive here, people. I've let this warm up a little bit, but I'm still having a little too cold. I can tell by the nose because because the nose, uh, well, I'm, on most beers of this style, uh, but it, yeah, I really feel it here. It, it, the nose is more muted when it's colder. It's not unusual for the style. But even so, you feel these nice roasted barley notes. You can feel uh, oatmeal notes. You certainly can feel that maple running all the way through it. You feel the bourbon barrel. Uh, you get a little bit of a, a vanilla. Also some, some, uh, some toffee running through it. I opened it using my, a new bottle opener. You can never have too many bottle openers. So my my, my grandson Ben gave me this T-Rex bottle opener for Christmas. Picked it out himself. He said, Grampy liked it. Grampy likes it. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. You know, I, I recently heard that they're gonna, not going to make this one again. Um... It, it is good. Uh, I don't know that I'm heartbroken by that, but I think it will be missed. In past incarnations, the maple had been much too sweet for me. This year's this year's model is much better. In fact, I hadn't ordered. I hadn't ordered. I hadn't bought it in a few years because the last one I had was just way too sweet, and I couldn't hardly drink it. Uh, but this one isn't bad because you, you feel the maple, but it doesn't overpower your beer. And that bourbon barrel certainly helps. Uh, you know, you get the, the, that oak and, and that oak spice certainly help break up some of that sweetness. Uh, again, uh, you're going to feel some vanilla from that bourbon barrel. Uh, I also feel some toffee notes running through it. It is very rich. It is very decadent. It is very sweet. Um, but it doesn't get too sweet. You expect a beer of this style to be a little bit sweet. It's got to. But anytime you add maple, it gets a little tricky, man. Uh, yeah, it, it, you know, you... I've had some where you can barely tell that, that a maple was involved and somewhere was way too sweet. So it is kind of a fine line to walk. Anytime you list an ingredient, it has to be enough in there where, where the people that you can feel whatever that ingredient is, whether it's vanilla, maple, uh, peanut butter, whatever that extra ingredient is, you want to know it's there. But if it takes over your original beer, then, then you've gone wrong somewhere. Uh, I didn't mention chocolate. You certainly feel some nice chocolate notes in there as well. It's like you took this nice dark chocolate bar <laughs> and you dipped it in maple syrup. <laughs> That's what it tastes like, man. <laughs> I want to 
wouldn't lie to you. Pour the rest of the bottle in there. Get the whole bottle in there. So there you go. So I think that that uh, that ounce and a half of uh, bourbon and 12 ounces of this 11% beer is probably going to do me in for the evening. Uh, uh, it's a long day. I'm tired. I don't really feel like drinking much more. But I wanted to do at least one for each of my my pages. Mm. And as you'd expect, I mean, uh, the more it warms, the, the more fragrant it becomes, the more aromatic it becomes. Also, the more those flavors will, 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 will meld together and, and, you know, come together more harmoniously. The flavors and aromas are there when it's colder, but they seem to be a little sharper and a little more disjointed. And as it warms, they all come together more as one instead of where, where it's choppy, a little bit colder. So I hope everybody's been good this year and Santa will give you a visit. Uh, I expect to get a nice lump of coal, but hey. I'll sell it to the Trump administration. They seem to like that stuff. <laughs> They're terrified of windmills, though. They're terrified of windmills. Anyway, I digress. Ah, I didn't mean to get political, but the joke was there. I could stop it once it entered my head. Oh. The flavors on this, yeah, again, the, the more I let this sit, the more it's like every sip I have of... Uh, the flavors become more pronounced. It really works better. This beer probably is best served at about 55 to 60 degrees. And depending on where you live, I mean, if you have a cellar, put it in the cellar. It doesn't need to be in a refrigerator. Uh, you know, if you live in, say, Wisconsin, <laughs> put it in a garage. <laughs> well, that might be too cold, actually. <laughs> I'd say here sometimes, but hell, man, we, we were damn near 70 today. I think we're going to be in that neck of the woods tomorrow, so I think I'm going to grill Christmas dinner. <laughs> We've had warmer Christmases in the past, but it, it is unusual this time of year for us, yeah. We had one very cold week, had a couple snow days at school. And then it's, I mean, it just went away. Now we've got this, you know, this, this uh, spring-like weather. And it'll go away, and it'll get nasty cold <laughs> for about a week or so. And the weather's bipolar. I <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway, I digress. So once again, Merry Christmas to everybody, or Merry Almost Christmas, as it's Christmas Eve as I do this video, so Merry Christmas Eve to you all from the Beer Whisperer and family. I've got some fine beers that I'll probably stretch between Christmas and New Year's. I don't know how many of them I'll save. Uh, I don't know how many I'll get to tomorrow, to be honest with you. I might get to 10, I might get to 2. <laughs> that depends on how the day goes. <laughs> I, I ended up with mostly, you know, I mean, I, I pick up stuff throughout the course of the year and it, it goes in the fridge and my, my beer fridge and, uh, you know, I was expecting it to be colder. So I've got a lot of, you know, bigger stouts and uh, some barrel aged fare. But, uh, you know, we're going to be there darn near 70 tomorrow. So I had to pick up some beer today that's more session. No, well, not session, but, you know, more more warm weather friendly beer, I guess. So, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I'm not even sure what I'm going to break out. But what I typically like to do, in all honesty, is take out, you know, my very best whiskey and my very best beer and have that, right? And then kind of, you know, work down from there. But I don't know. If I'm going to be out by the grill, I'm, I may start in the lower end and work my way up the food chain. A partridge in a pear tree. But it'll be Christmas Day. Hell, I mean, it's just a wife and I, so we don't have a lot going on. I might start drinking at noon. <laughs> kind of pace myself throughout the afternoon. And a partridge in a pear tree. Anyway, I am Tom the Beer Whisperer. 
Beer Evangelist, Blood of a Beer Drinker. Three French horse. Anyway, uh, I can't resist, man. I am Tony Beer Rescue, Beer Evangelist, Blood of a Beer Drinker. Perfect Rescue Man. Three French horse. Uh, anyway, um, all right, good guy. Cheers.